Hey, Redmog World Entertainment, and we're about to take a look at a brand new trailer. I know I'm a bit late on this, but the computer was meh. We're gonna have to look at the Ministry of Ungentlemanly Warfare, the brand new Guy Ritchie movie, being led by none other than Henry Cavill. And it's also got Reacher in there, Alan Richardson. It's not much of him in the trailer, but you can spot him. Uh, obviously, this is probably the teaser trailer. But we're gonna have a look. Here we go. The Ministry of Ungentlemanly Warfare. Gus March Phillips, I have a mission I want you to lead. Thank you, Sergeant. What's the plan? To neutralize the German U boats in the North Atlantic. We're losing the war. Hitler is not playing by the rules. So neither are we. We both know that I'm not very popular with the administration. Well, the reason they find you unattractive is the very reason I find you attractive. If I'm to do this, I'll need my own team. You won't like them. They're all... No! Bad. They'll need to be. This is an unsanctioned, unauthorized mission. If we fail, England will be condemned to a lifetime under the German boot. And so I said, that is not a dog. That is my wife! <laughs> it's very good. Abort this mission now. Hello, can't hear you. Please do off. <gasps> All right, there you go. The brand new trailer. <laughs> it looks back crap crazy, but it looks fun. Let's hope it is because Guy Ritchie, the last few years, the hit and miss. The Gentleman was great. Eh, uh, but of course, he did Dumbo. It was Dumbo he did, wasn't it? No, Aladdin. Um, the, so, basically the synopsis for the movie is a top secret combat unit uses unconventional techniques to battle Nazis during World War II. It's coming out in April, the 19th of April in the US so I'm wondering whether that'll be everywhere and um, obviously it's Guy Ritchie I had no idea until I saw this trailer that Jerry Bruckheimer was a part of this that's an interesting duo Bruckheimer and Guy Ritchie I don't think no, at least I'm not aware of them two ever working together which is going to be quite interesting it's based off a book uh, called Churchill's Secret Warriors, the explosive true story of the Special Forces Desperados of World War II. That's the other crazy thing about this movie. It's apparently based on a true story, which will be even crazier. Um, and it's going to be interesting to see how the media react to this movie. In terms of, we know they seem to have something against Henry Cavill. Because if you haven't seen this, they're trying to paint Argyle as a Henry Cavill-led failure. Okay, there's a massive issue with that statement. And you can see the headlines, they're all, all Henry Cavill's new movie fails. Henry Cavill-led movie fails. Henry Cavill in yet another disaster. It's a 2 hour and 20 minute long movie. That This is Argyle now. Two hours and 20 minute long movie. Henry Cavill is in it for about seven minutes. Yeah, it's not a Henry Cavill movie. 
It's not a Henry Cavill led movie. It's a Bryce Dallas Howard led movie. <laughs> and what's his name? Uh, I, Sam Rockwell, is it? I think it's Sam Rockwell. Um, yeah, Sam Rockwell. It's their movie. Even though they're not even front and centre on the poster. They're not even the second people behind Cavill on the poster. They are the third people on the poster on either side. It's not a Henry Cavill movie. It's a Bryce Dallas Howard, Sam Rockwell movie. Cavill, once again, is only in it for about seven minutes. But it's hilarious to see the media say it's a Cavill movie. So I'm wondering whether they're going to start saying, oh, it's destined for another failure because it's Cavill. Eh, no. This looks like fun. This looks interesting. This looks like the one particular type of movie that Hollywood right now despises. And what is that? A masculine-led movie. Yeah, you're going to have Henry Cavill and Alan Richardson together <laughs> they're gonna have a meltdown saying oh, there's too much testosterone on the screen and I only recently watched Fast X by the way the movie is god awful I'm sure there's a lot of you who enjoy it that's fine I'm not telling you you can't I think it's god awful and so over the top and the reason I always find that with Fast and Furious movies now it's because I've watched the first movie. I've seen what the cars can do and what they can't do. <laughs> and who these people were to now be these super spies. And oh, it's just ridiculous. But the fact that there's a scene on a bridge with Alan Richardson and Vin Diesel. And you could tell Vin Diesel's ego kicked in. Because it was like, oh man, you, you've put me in an action scene with Reacher. I'm going to look small. How do I top him? Oh, I know. I'll pick a car up with one arm. Because <laughs> that's what they did. Vin Diesel picks up a car and tosses it over with one arm. While Reacher, Alan Richardson, is standing across from him looking. So, so you're going to have this mindset from the media going into this of, Oh, it's too testosterone fueled. Oh, it's... Um, too manly oh it's too masculine oh Henry Cavill boo it's like shut up you morons you go and have your barbies we the real moviegoers will go and watch this not that moviegoers didn't go see Barbie obviously they did made a billion dollars but you know what I mean in this climate what we're looking at for movies I'm definitely interested in this one bring it on as I said, Guy Ritchie's The Gentleman was great. But that movie's hilarious. I think it's on Netflix if you haven't seen it, so head over there if you have Netflix. Um, yeah, I'm definitely looking forward to this one. So, with that, like, share, subscribe. You know the drill. And I'll catch you in the next one. Cheers.